Hey, welcome back. So, I asked on Instagram the other day what you guys wanted me to film for this week's video, and I had lots of responses. Some slightly inappropriate, let's say. But, a couple of you asked to see what was actually inside my diving bag, the one that I take to training every single day. So, I thought I'd take you through my essentials that I take to training with me. In this lovely bag of mine. It is, it does have a yoghurt stain on it. You can thank Grace Reed for that because she accidentally got some yoghurt on it. It is yoghurt, I can assure you. This bag is Adidas Parley. It is made from recycled ocean plastics. Which is pretty damn good if you ask me. So, the first thing inside my bag well, it's actually on my bag, are my trunks. Obviously, a pretty, you know, important part of the whole thing is to make sure that you've got your trunks with you. These are some swimming trunks that I have. They are Adidas, they are size 28, because I always go down like a couple of inches on my waist just because like, you know, keep everything in place because you don't need anything moving around or coming outside or doing any of that. Lots of trunks, and I, the reason I have them tied up on my bag like this is so that on the way home, they can dry. So that they're pretty much dry by the time, they're not that dry. I do get some weird looks sometimes when I'm on the tube and people are like, oh my god, you got underpants hanging on your bag, and they're wet and they're dripping, like what are you doing? But, it's what works for me, okay? So yeah. The next thing that is always in my bag is, of course, a towel, ooh. Yeah, so we have to have a towel, obviously, because when we get out of the pool, we're wet, and we need to dry off, so, hence the towel. Okay, let's see what else we've got in here. Ooh, okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. This is, wait, this comes in two parts, hold on. So these are like reusable, ice bags. So after every single 10 meter session I do, you'll see me strap ice to my triceps to just help them recover, get blood flow to the area, all that kind of stuff. So these are just reusable ones so that I don't have to use plastic bags and those plastic wraps so I can reuse this one again and again. So yeah, getting on top of my recovery basically. Next thing inside the bag, these bad boys. Now I don't know if you know what these are or what they do, but they're like trigger point balls for your feet. So I lay them on the floor and then I stand on top of them and I do like circles and rolls on them and it feels really good on the bottom of your feet and sometimes without realizing it, your the bottoms of your feet are really, really, really tight. And if the bottoms of your feet are tight, you start to feel like weird when you're walking and then you start walking weird, then it makes your calves tight and then your hamstrings tight and then it like all the way leads all the way up to your back. So Start with your feet. So in the morning, I always roll on these for five minutes or so just to get the blood pumping. Next thing in my bag is like a lacrosse ball. I think it actually is a lacrosse ball. Or the, acli acri the equivalent of, anyway. So again, this is a similar thing. I can then roll on this on my joints. Like so often I like to do it in my shoulder in here or I can do it on my boob, around my shoulder, in my hips, all these kind of places that you can really, really get into when you need to, just so that you can feel good again and it stretches it out and it's just nice, you know? So always have one of these with you. It's like a miniature version of a roller. And this is just easier to transport. Next thing in my bag, I always carry around with me a resistance band because it means that wherever you are in the world, if you don't have that, what is that? Oh, it's a bit strange, don't worry, don't worry, it's okay. Don't panic. A resistance band, just because you can do lots of different workouts with these. If you have them in your bag, and you're ready to go, you can do like just resistance squats, you can do stuff with your arms, you can do stuff with your like legs, core, everything. So these come in really handy, especially when you're on the go and you're not necessarily gonna be in a gym. Next thing in the bag is this. Lots of people ask me actually what I put on um, before I dive, and this is liquid hand grip. Oh, okay, I'm gonna do this like makeup thing when they do this. Uh, why doesn't it work? It works for the makeup bloggers. There we go. So this is liquid hand 
handball liquid grip. So basically, I spray this on my hands and I rub it together on my hands and then put it onto my legs. And it is really grippy so that when we are in our shapes, in our tuck in particular, we hold on and the g-force is so intense that if you're just wet, you're slippery and you'll slip out. So this allows you to be able to grip on really tight. If you've, uh, you know, it's really like supreme grip. It's pretty good actually, because sometimes like now, like once you start diving with it, you can't really dive without it because it's, you know, everything else feels slippery in comparison. So this is something that I always have to have in my diving bag, especially if I'm going to be diving off of 10 meters. Next thing in my bag is, oh gosh, tape. I always carry tape around with me because I always have to wear it when I'm diving on 10 meter because when I was younger, I jammed my thumb when I was doing a dive and then I've forever had problems with my thumb because we grab like this. If you, you know, 35 miles an hour, you do it right at the end of your dive. If you go like that, you have to be really accurate. If you go like this and bang, blah, 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 it hurt, can hurt your thumb sometimes. So, I always carry this. I'm actually gonna show you how I tape it because lots of people have been asking me that as well. So, what I do to stop my thumb from hurting, I get a strip of tape and I put it on my thumb like this, right? And I wrap it round to create almost like a, kind of splint or a cast, you could say. So it stops me from being able to bend this. By the way, this is a steam burn from the baby sterilizer. Bottles and all that. Anyway, next step, take a strip, put it on to anchor down onto your wrist, up and around your thumb, like so. And then that's basically the first layer. And then you do three layers of that, putting it down on here, and then up and around and down, and then one more, starting there in the corner, and then it goes behind, pulling it back, and then anchoring it and pinning it down. And then the last thing I do is a big strip like this, where I wrap it round my wrist, like so, so it's anchored down, and then I tuck it in here. So this basically stops my thumb from moving too much, and my wrist from bending back too much because when we hit the water there's a lot of impact and it goes <laughs> so this just helps give it a little bit of extra support basically and now I'm gonna have to wax this all off and it always hurts when I take it off <clears throat> oh no now I've really <clears throat> I'm getting hot I'm claustrophobic Whew. thank goodness thank goodness that's done my gosh that was intense Next thing I always carry with me, especially because when I'm traveling, I've got this little gadget thing here. I just got it in boots. It's really like a random, nothing that high tech, um, like tens machine. Because then you put like these pads on you and sometimes it could just help with recovery. Like if I've got sore triceps or I've got sore back or things like that, I'll just stick it on and it'll go blah, 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 bum, 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 bum. And yeah, just helps it feel a little bit better. So, recommend it. Next thing that I always have with me is leave-in conditioner because your hair can get really dry when you're diving around and it gets dry regardless of whatever you do to it. We just put in some leave-in conditioner before I get in and a little bit after just to try and like help. I, you know, to be honest, I use whatever people send me, uh, but this time I'm using Aussie and it's pretty good. It works. Miracle Moist. Oh. Next thing, quite a crucial thing with divers, you'll always see us with these. It's like a chamois. So like you have a chamois that you dry off your car with, if you ever even bothered drying your car, I didn't. This chamois, well, what we use it for is mainly in between dives, we always dry our bodies off and our legs and things like that, so that, again, it helps with the grip. So that handball wax that I was talking about uh, really just helps being able to help us not slip out because if you slip out on a dive, it can be like, <laughs> bad and also in competition it helps when you dry off you don't get as cold because obviously when you're wet in a pool it can be a little bit chilly sometimes you know I always have a spare one in here too just in case because I've been known to lose a few chamois in my time I also have in here playing cards 
The diving team really likes this game called Kamal. I don't even know if it's actually a real thing because we try and Google it and like, I can't find it. And I don't know if we're saying it the right or if it's a different name for it, but it's a really fun game. And we always pass our time in between competitions or if we've got not, not much to do in the evenings, we play Kamal. So always carry cards with me. Next thing I've always got in my bag, this, right? Again, made from recycled ocean plastics. It's just a carrier bag. Because you never know when you're gonna pop into the shop and gonna need a bag. So instead of using plastic ones, you can use these and just reuse it. And it's nice because it like just pops back into this little thing like that. And it zips back in and it's like it never even happened. And then I just chuck it back in my bag and I'm ready to go again. Next thing in my bag, one of the most important things, obviously, a water bottle, because having a water bottle in there, you need to stay hydrated and all that. Always carry a water bottle with you when you're training. It just makes things easier because there's always a water fountain in every single, you know, gym. well, most gyms, most pools all have a water fountain that you can just fill up and refill your bottle so you can stay hydrated, so you can get the most out of your workout. Which then leads me on to the other part is that, you know, once you've done your workout and you've been hydrated through it, to make sure you get your recovery afterwards. So I always take with me um, bulk powders protein to be able to have like, because the one thing that I say is 20 grams of protein within 20 minutes. So like 20, 20, because that is the optimal recovery time to be able to get it in. Um, you know, if you can get a little bit more, great, but you know, aim for 20. It's gonna help you recover faster, it's gonna help your muscles repair faster, you're gonna get the most out of your workout and it's just gonna make you feel better. It's something that I've really focused on is my recovery in the last uh, year or so and it has changed the way that I've been able to train, changed the way I've been able to think about things and be able to recover. Have, making sure that you pack your protein in advance to be able to just add water to and then you got it ready to go right away after your workout. I hope you enjoyed that video about what was inside my diving bag. Um, it's now empty and I did find some trunks at the bottom of my bag that had mould on them. So they're gonna have to go in the wash. I hope you enjoyed that video. If there's anything else that you're kind of interested to know about, then let me know in the comments and I'll try and make a video about what goes on in, you know, day-to-day -day diving life and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. Like, why wouldn't you do that? I don't know. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.